All right, we get to take a look at a very interesting revolver. This is a Phillips and Rogers model M47 Medusa six shot revolver. Now on its own, it's just a cool revolver. It's basically a Smith & Wesson K frame. So not the smallest J frame or the, the smaller J frame, but a K frame if it's still a very fairly small frame. It's got a really aggressive look with that smooth cylinder and sort of serrated barrel lug or whatever you'd call that. Uh, it's got a pretty high-vis front sight, nice adjustable rear sight, target trigger, target hammer, uh, Peckmeyer grip I think, kind of a parkerized, maybe blued look. Really like, you know, just on its own, this is a cool looking revolver. However, there's a lot more to it than that. Well, six shots, okay, but what caliber is it? That's what it's all about. Let's take a look. Right on the barrel it tells us it's a 38, 357, and 9mm. So 357, 38, no big deal. That's not unusual. But a 9mm. So let's take a look. Look at the inside of the cylinder there. That's the key. Those little tabs are what makes this special. It's a multi-caliber revolver. So this thing can actually shoot about 25 different calibers in the 30 caliber range. So that means the 9mm, 38, 38 Super, 357. All of those that have basically the same size bullet, uh, just different size cases, are all going to work through this multi-caliber. Let's take a look at some. So we've got a 357, we've got a 38 Special. Let's see next up, we've got a uh, 38 Super, another cartridge designed for a pistol. We've got a uh, Smith and or a 38 Long, so basically uh, sort of like a 45 Colt, you know, a longer version of a 38. Smith & Wesson, which is the next one, a 38 Smith & Wesson, another old revolver cartridge. Then we've got a 9mm Largo, 9x23. We have a 9mm that we're all familiar with, 9mm Luger, 9mm Parabellum. And then last, we've got a little 380, right? So we've got a couple of pistol cartridges in here. We've also got some revolver cartridges, but guess what? They all work in this Medusa. Let's take a closer look at that. So first off, let's load a 357. Why not? Now we've got the, the little... Uh, ridge along the cylinder, the chambers there, so we know that this thing will head space like it's supposed to off the rim, like a revolver cartridge would on that little groove on the uh, cylinder. So no big deal. And this 38 Special, exact same way. It's going to come in, it's going to fill the groove, and it's going to head space off the cylinder. But now let's take something like this 38 Super, which is a pistol cartridge, and it has no rim really, it's a rimless or it should be you know, similar to a rimless but no problem, that's what that little tab in the center of the cylinder does, it comes up and catches it and you can see that it's staying there no problem will that work with a 9mm? you betcha same thing, fits right in there let's put that 380 right next to the 9mm and then let's just pick something weird like this uh, 38 long colt and I bet you've never seen a cylinder with an assortment of ammo like that that would all work just fine in this revolver. Unfortunately, I'm not at a range, or else I would be shooting this one. But look at that collection of calibers. That's pretty cool. They all eject just fine. Now, right now, it's going to be funny because I'm on video, of course, but also because they're still loaded. But it ejects just fine. It'll load pretty much anything. It'll shoot anything you can load into it. Really ingenious little design. I wish they'd come up with something like this again. I'm sure it would sell well. Now if you can imagine uh, when they built these, 500 of them were made or some around 500 were made. Most of them went out of the country, but if you can imagine some of the countries where you can have only limited firearms, you know, there might be quite an advantage to have something that can shoot multiple calibers. Now that we're thinking about you know ammunition shortages and issues with ammunition supply, you know something like this really sparkles. So hopefully we'll see something like this again in the future. If not, keep an eye on GunBroker. These do not go cheap. No one gives them away. This is probably $1,500 in my hand right now, if not plenty more. It's a Phillips & Rogers Medusa Model M47, made in Texas. No longer made, but very much sought after. As always, thanks for watching.
The guys and gals at GunWebsites.com encourage you to take a CCW class every year, practice at least once a month, and carry every day. Thanks for watching GunWebsites.com.